Right guys, welcome back to another video and welcome back to another episode of the Linfield Career Mode. We are nearing the end boys. Five, maximum six games to go and three of them are going to be taken on in this episode. Kicking it off with the Irish Cup semi-final against Crusaders. Tough game. Then we have the chance to wrap up the Irish League title once and for all, if we can beat Ballymena, must beat them. And we finish the episode off, Crusaders again, only this time in the league. And then that will leave us Cliftonville and Carrick for the last episode, possibly an Irish Cup final, depending on how we do here. But boys, there is no reason to hold back. Let's get the team set up, get the boys ready. We need to go full strength this whole episode lads I'm not joking because if we can get this done today it'll be absolutely brilliant so we're looking for Mulgrew to start Harrington in there and I think that's it that is the team that's going Irish Cup semi-final against Crusader boys let's go boys it's time Crusaders and Linfield Irish Cup semi-final didn't actually look at who was in the other semi I probably should have but it's gonna be a really big game really tough game Crusaders a good side um I've went out and changed all our lads back to short sleeves because I just don't know when we're actually going to turn back. You know, we're in, what, April now? In this save, March, late March, early April. <laughs> so the sleeves should be back to short. So I've changed ours. And the fans are ready. Big, big game ahead. Are we going to make it to the Irish Cup final? Let's get into this and find out, boys. Here I takes down the loose ball to Jordan Stewart. To Lavery, Stuart, quiet in the last episode. Can I come back this episode? Oh, I don't even get a corner from it. Bit of dodgy defending there from Crusaders. Crusaders coming at us. They've got a good ball in the middle. What a tackle that is. I think it might have been Lamy. And now Tossetti finds Lavery. Naziri can't get control of it. Crusaders looking dangerous. McGonagall goes through. Ah, it's another really good touch from Lamy. I don't know what we're doing there. Thankfully, it ends up in John's hands. Lavery. Jordan Stewart needs support. And he's looking for Matthew Clark. He's going to get there. Pulls it back to Stewart. Just taking our time. It's Naziri. Again. Support needed. Mulgrew. Out to boil. Tossetti. What have you done there mate? It's going to be a throw. Boyle. To Tossetti. To Shane Lavery. Naziri. Boyle. Picks it up. Tossetti. Jordan Stewart. Deflection. And we're going to look to end the half with hopefully a good chance here, possibly a goal if we can make it. Whipped in, keeper punches. Tossetti gets the cross in, Lavery was up, just soars over him. And the first half, still no breakthrough yet, boys. Into Mulgrew, Naziri. Going to spread it out wide to Jordan Stewart. Here he, making the run forward. Needs to pull it back to Lavery! 1-0 off. Absolute scene. What a fire start to the second half for us. Wasted no time at all. Don't think the series have even touched the ball. We took kick off. And this is great play. Bastian Here he puts on a plate for Lavery. And boys, I've been recording 50 seconds in real time into the second half. 
and Shane Lavery have smacked it home and we're on our way to the Irish Cup final if we keep this up. Naziri, good block. Lavery picks it up. Jordan Stewart, can he finish? He can! It's awful at the back from Crusaders. They've given the ball away. Stewart's shushing them. He's loving it. Awful pass. Naziri, he's not even really trying to block. He's just standing there. And they hit it straight off him. Jordan Stewart makes a bit of a mess of that first touch. Puts himself off balance. He really doesn't need to. But he does well. Gets a good shot off. Fires it past the keeper. Shushes the, the Crusaders fans. Boys, we're 2-0 up. And the Irish Cup final is well within reach. Here into Naziri, looking for Lavery, and he set him free, and Shane Lavery straight at the keeper, should be saving that, and the ball's going to go out of play, not sure if we've managed to get a corner for that or not, but either way, no, we haven't, it's time to make some changes, we're 2-0 up, our next game is our chance to win the league, so Harrington on, um, Stewart off, And we're actually not too bad. Otherwise, Matthew Clark's a bit tired. We'll throw Lamy at left back. We'll bring Roger Carvalho on. And that's how it's going to be, boys. Lamy. To Tosetti, who switched over to the left. And I thought he was going to go for Harrington. It's Lavery, though, who has done well to get to it. Not the best of passes in, but we've managed to keep it. And it's going to be Mulgrew to hit it. Just a bit of a nothing shot, really. Tight spaces. And Jamie McGonagall through for Crusaders. Jones is going to come out. Do brilliant. He needs to get up. We get the ball cleared. Absolutely brilliant goalkeeping from Chris Jones and Tossetti. <sighs> that pass to Lavery could have been so much better. But surely... Ref's going to blow soon, and he has, boys. We are in to the Irish Cup final. What a performance. Dominated Crusaders today. Not quite sure who's in the final. I'm going to put this out now. I know it's not Glen Torn. I know they're out, so it won't be a big two final. I want Glen Avon. Because we've played them twice this season. We drew... Um, I think it was 0-0 the first time. And then we lost at Mournview Park. I think it was 2-1. I want revenge. They're the only team in this league that we haven't beaten at least once this season. So hopefully Glenavon were still in it. So as I said, I didn't check. But boys, we are in the Irish Cup final. And boys, there it is. Glenavon beat Cliftonville 1-0. They're in the Irish Cup final. We have the chance to grab some well-needed revenge. <sighs> it's what I asked for. It is what I asked for. We've had a longer journey. They um, got a bye in the first round. Crazy, crazy times. The only team that's beaten us this year in the league. The only Northern Irish team to have beaten us. And again, the only Northern Irish team that we have not beaten at least once. Which is crazy. But, ugh, big, big result. Um, we've just got all this. Offer for Waterworth and for Jordan Stewart and for Kelleher and for McGivern. I mean, I don't really think any of them are going anywhere. McGivern, I might let him go. Stewart's staying. Kelleher, Waterworth, McGivern, you can go to Colerain, mate, but to be fair, I don't think he leaves until the, like the start of the transfer window anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but boys, it's another big game ahead. This is the one where if we win, we win the league, simple as that another one where our best team goes out 
Uh, Fallen not a nut despite being one of the higher rated lads. Carvalho on the bench, what am I on? Then we've also got Harrington, the youth academy player. He's become one of the top players in our squad. Boys, that is the side. This is it. Home to Ballymena, a great chance. We win today, and it must be a win. Then we have won the Danske Bank Premiership. Let's go, lads. Boys, it all comes down to this. We can get this done today, really early on. Make the last couple of games in the season quite chill for us. But if there is ever a time for a football team to mess up, it's whenever they have the entire leg sitting in the palm of their hands. It's right in front of us. And hopefully at the end of this 90 minutes we'll be able to reach out and just grab it. And we're looking for a fast start here. Heary to Lavery. Naziri back to Lavery. Jordan Stewart trying to get in. But it's tidied up by Balamina. McCullough for Balamina. Pepper, I thought he'd done well there. Used his strength, but Balamina has been gifted a free kick here. And hopefully Liam Miller doesn't do anything with this. It's whipped in. And it's cleared. Lavery, Tossetti. Can we go on the counter-attack now? Naziri, out wide to Jordan Stewart. There's a back to Naziri. He's still half got it. I'm not even quite sure what happened there. Here he wins the header though. Tossetti. Mulgrew. Plays it across. Naziri, oh, what a save! I was about to start celebrating. It was an open net. What has happened there? Don't tell me that that's the nerves getting to us already. And it's going to be another free kick. That was a great tackle by Lamy Ref. What are you on? This is not good. How has he missed that? Miller again. Going to whip it in for Balamina. That's the overhead kick. It goes wide. Lads. I still can't believe Naziri missed that. And now Cahar Frail running through. Tidied up by Callagher. Clark's going to pick up the pieces. Jordan Stewart. Bastian Heary. is going to make its way to Naziri. And Lavery. What a ball that is. Out to Tossetti. Just put it wide. I thought about waiting for the support. But it was taking too long. That was a great pass from Lavery. And maybe could have pulled it back to him. Just rushed it. It's whipped in by Balamina. What kind of clearance was that? Chris Jones. What a save. I don't know what we're doing here, lads. We're messing about. We're making this so much harder for ourselves than we need to. And where is that pass to? Here he was not getting to that. And it's Lecky coming forward for Balamina. Adam Lecky, he's got it back. What are we at? Lads, get a foot in here. Oh, that's gone through. Pepper goes in. That's a great tackle, ref. You're right, it is. No penalties around here. Tosetti, Naziri. Heary, out left to Jordan Stewart. And hasn't got a whole lot of options but to run it. The Balamina defence. But Heary is found on the edge of the box. Naziri going to play it to Tossetti. He finds Lavery. What a save. Get in. Oh, it's in the side net in front of I think it was Mulgrew. And you'd think if one man is going to win us this title in this episode... It's going to be Shane Lavery. <sighs> Unbelievable. 
I think we need subs. The players are starting to get fatigued. Naziri, you've been amazing all season, mate. It hasn't been your day. Kirk Miller is going to come on. And uh, I don't, that's honestly all I'm going to do, lads. Harry and Mulgrew, just such a midfield partnership, I can't change it. Here come Balamina. That's a good ball into McCullough. Lads, do not let him play this back in. This is looking so dangerous. Lads, that's not cleared. That's not cleared. It's still not cleared. How is that? Why has he scored from there? What even is this? Has Chris Jones got something on that? That was not going in. That was going across the face of goal. For five minutes left to get two goals here. Eddie. Don't tell me you give a ball of me a free kick for that. Are you joking me, referee? Gallagher. I'm just going for an equaliser at this point. What was that? Chris Miller. What the heck? Why can we not play simple passes? That's it. First chance to win the title. And we messed it up. We've messed it up. Who knows how long we're gonna have to wait now. I can't even sum this one up in words. I'm so disappointed in us. How Naziri missed that, I don't know. Such a stupid loss to take. And there you go lads, Glenavon 1-3-1, one, one. what does this mean now? Is that a 9 point gap? 3 games to go, isn't there? So if we win this next game, we can still win the league. Is that right? Yeah, 3 games to go including this one I'm pretty sure. So we have Crusaders, then we have Cliftonville, and then we have Carrick in the league. So yeah, right, we're lucky that we've been so dominant all season that we've got to be in this position where we have a second chance to get the job done, but we must take that chance lads, I don't want to see any messing about like we did in that last game it's really that was just so depressing that game so depressing to watch but we run again we run again it's our second chance I don't want to hype it up too much because that's what we done the last time and we messed it up but we have beaten this team once in this episode. Chance to win the league number two. Let's hope we can do it this time. Big, big game yet again. It's a slightly changed Crusaders squad from the Irish Cup game. I can see that. O'Neill back in nets. Um, I think I saw the likes of Cushley in the starting lineup who missed that Cup game. But, boys. I mean, we could have won this on our own turf, on home soil, but we didn't step up, and now Seaview is our next chance to do it. Please do not put this off any longer. Crusaders coming at us early on here. They're in the box. We need it cleared. It's not cleared properly. Naziri gets it out. Lavery. Out to Jordan Stewart. It's about time you've done something. Here, Jordan, you've been quiet for so long. He has no support, though. He can whip one in. 
Oh, what a save from O'Neill. Why are the keepers in this episode on drugs again? Pepper, what was that? Oh, I cannot believe we've had an unbelievable chance saved already. Daddy. Naziri. Now but Naziri hits it! And it's 1-0! Come on! 23 minutes gone. 1-0 Linfield. I thought when he tipped that, I thought, oh no, I've rushed it again. Because the space opened up, he could have ran into. He fires it into the bottom corner past O'Neill. <sighs> we messed up once in that last game against Balmina. Should never have happened. But Naziri here, this is fantastic. What a hit. Firing us on our way. Hopefully, the leg title. Let's go, boys. Bastian Harry coming forward with it. And now Jordan Stewart. We've opened them up. It's Lavery. He's going for the fancy finish. He's not going to get the rebound. I don't know why he done that. <laughs> not only was it not the right angle, he was never going to get enough power on it. Shane Lavery. Naziri, the man of the art, the minute. What a ball that is. To Lavery. Who's finished it? What a finish off the post. 38 minutes gone. We're 2 0 off. We're taking no prisoners this time, boys. It had to be done. There was no way we were doing what we've done against Balmina. Naziri, what a pass. Shane Lavery, I actually thought he put it wide for a minute. But what a striker he's been this season. And he's fired us another goal closer to the Irish League title. And what a ball that is to Lavery. Naziri is half arriving. Finds Jordan Stewart. Lavery's in there again. And Crusaders just get a foot in the way to guide it back to O'Neill. Here come Crusaders. Mark Ferrer with it. Play it out to Kushlai. He gets the cross in. Chris Johns does hold it. Jordan Stewart. He's dead on side. Which I think he has. Finds Lavery. What a save. It's still there. Lavery with a fake shot. Lavery finishes. Shane Lavery. Absolutely unreal. The strength, the composure. We are ripped Crusaders apart in this game. A ball in again. Well, lack of concentration. Um, lots of focus. It was a fluke. It was a fluke. And now, we're going to be champions after this game, surely. And we're playing like champions. That's another good save. Hegarty doesn't deal with it. Lavery, look at this. The composure, the fake shot. Bends it into the far corner. 3 0 up. Absolutely beautiful. And with this, we're gonna make some subs, lads. Jordan Stewart looking tired. And be perfectly honest, lads. Everybody's kind of fit. So that's all I'm gonna do. I mean, the likes of Naziri and all deserve to be on the pitch when the title is lifted. Kirk Miller. Crusaders coming forward, trying to get one back. It's a good ball over the top. It's out wide and that's it. Full time. The celebrations have started. The banners are out already. NIFL champions. And we are champions. It's official, boys. They have the phones and all sorts. They're loving it. <laughs> Absolute scene. Danske Bank Premiership winners, boys. What a season it's been. Um, we should have won it last game. I'm so confident. But, got the job done. Um, we came back with a vengeance against Crusaders. We've now beat Crusaders 5-0 on aggregate in this episode. Absolute madness. But we 
are Danske Bank Premiership Champions. And lads, there are the rest of your results. Ballymena continue good form after beating us with a 1-0 win over Lorne. Portadown tanked Glentorn 4-0. They really crumbled this season. Not goal with a very good 3-0 win over Warren Point. Glenavon do pick up a 2-0 win over Kilrean. Not that it matters anymore. Dungannon 1-0 over Institute and Carrick beating Cliftonville 3-1. Cliftonville had a bit of a poor season, I won't lie. And there is how the league looks. Champions with, what, two games to go? Unbelievable. Nine points clear. I'm not going to lie, lads. At one point, I thought we were going to go invincible. Then we lost to Glenhaven and the dream was dead. And obviously losing to Balamina wasn't good. Shouldn't have happened. We've conceded eight goals this season. Um, scored 34. Still two less than Glenhaven, <clears throat> which is ridiculous. I have drew five times, but lads... None of that matters. Danske Bank, Premiership, Champions, Linfield. The rest is all to play for. Portadown could still second over their mid Ulster rivals, Glenavon. You know, they still have the chance to do that. But that is where this episode comes to a close. Next episode, we have Cliftonville in the league, who I think we might play. Um... Then we're also going to have the Irish Cup final, of course. And then after that, we have one late game against Carrick, which we might just sim to kind of wrap things up. And then that will be the end of the Linfield career. Look at that in the middle. <laughs> um, it looks like Linfield won't have to wait the last game of the season to claim the leg crown. Find out that they'll finish top no matter what. The team finished their match by celebrating back in the changing rooms. Boys... Danske Bank Premiership Champions. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you're there for the final episode tomorrow. I'll see you next time, guys. Cheers.